Every one of us often asks himself why people always want to create a family to live with. This is a question many couples ask themselves, and there are many reasons for and against having children. People who were raised in a positive home environment with a stable family want to create that life with their significant other. They want to create a family that's full of joy and love, where they can be affectionate towards their children. Essentially, they've placed a high priority on creating a family of their own like their parents before them. But this isn't the only reason to have a family. For Adam, there were a lot of other reasons that motivated him to create his own family. Besides being inspired by his parents who raised him with all the love and caring that he needed, Adam was one of the people who wanted to carry on the family name and the family values. Of course, this tends to apply to the father's family name, but the point is that many prospective parents want to continue the historic family lineage. They find joy in knowing that their child will bear their last name and keep the family going. The idea of being around babies and young children might disgust some people, but others love the notion of raising a little one from birth into adulthood. These people may want to relive the silly and fun parts of their childhood with their child. Adam went through this with his young brother. He still remembers until now the day that his mother came and told him that he's going to have a baby brother. Adam was seven years old at that time, which means that he was old enough to watch this baby growing up. Adam loved being there for his little brother, playing with him, sharing with him his toys, teaching him new things, and above all, he loved packing him up when he needed to. Adam couldn't wait to have all those feelings with his own child. That was one of the most important reasons that Adam wanted to have a family. Especially that Adam knew there's a certain type of bond between parent and child that's incredibly powerful. The unconditional love that a parent has for their offspring and vice versa is a motivation for some. They want to feel those strong emotions and share those emotions with their significant other and their children. Plus, the idea of bringing another human into the world and the joy of seeing that person go through life is another powerful reason why couples want to have a child. Parents want to see their child grow up and become a productive member of society. Many people love the idea of getting to create and raise a child, one that they can share their love with. This concept is appealing because you get to determine how your child will turn out and what values they'll have. Couples can find that type of experience exciting and gratifying. While it may seem obvious to some, having a child completely changes your life, and it gives new meaning to your life. After having a child, you become responsible for their life and because of that, your existence takes on a whole new meaning. Besides all that, Adam saw that the simple fact of biology is that we're hardwired to procreate and pass on our genes to the next generation. This biological imperative and drive are strong in many people who feel the need to have and raise children. All those reasons, and maybe more, were running in Adam's head when he was setting with Rita for the first time. At this time, Adam was a young civil engineer working in a construction company. Rita was working in the same company as well, but she was an accountant. They've been colleagues for more than a year, but they weren't close at all. They weren't even friends. One day, they had to travel together to another city for work. In that travel, they got to know each other, especially that they were staying in the same hotel and they didn't know anyone else in that city. After getting back home, Adam was thinking about how cute she was, and he didn't think twice before he asked her out for the first time. Adam took Rita to his favorite restaurant. At this night, Rita kept talking about how much fun she had in that travel and that she hoped to travel with him again, but all what Adam was thinking about this time was the family. After the first date, Adam and Rita agreed to travel again, but this time not for work, but to take a break. They went to Miami, where Adam found out how Rita loved to go party and have fun all the time. They were spending all day on the beach, and in the night they were partying in the Cuban nightclubs. After this trip to Miami, Adam was hesitant about asking Rita to marry him, he thought maybe she didn't have a family like him. Maybe she wanted to have a handsome boyfriend to have fun with. After thinking for a while, Adam said to himself that people can have family and have fun too. He remembered his father. He loved to have a lot of fun too, and he used to go to the bar with his friends every weekend. Despite all that, he was a great father. After all, Adam was convinced that Rita would be the person who was going to decide if she wants to have a family with him or not. Adam decided that he would tell Rita about his plan for the future and he'd let her decide if she wanted to walk with him in this path or not. Adam was very happy when Rita told him that she would like to have a family with him. It didn't take them a lot of time to prepare for their wedding. It was a small wedding, but it was full of love. After marriage, Adam and Rita were even happier together. They traveled to other cities, and they had a lot of fun. Before they even knew, they found two little beautiful kids in their house. Sarah is the oldest, and the youngest is Tom. 
Adam's relationship with his kids was more than perfect. Adam was a great father, and he loved his kids more than anything else in the world. Rita also loved her kids, but she always wanted to have her freedom back. She wanted to travel and stay out late, but she couldn't do that with kids. Rita never told anyone about that feeling. She didn't even tell Adam. She was afraid that he wouldn't understand that feeling. When Sarah turned 12 years, Rita decided to leave her family. One day, Adam woke up to find out that his wife wrote him a message telling him that she'll leave because she can't be responsible for the family anymore. Rita told Adam that she still loves him, and also she loves the kids, but she can't stay around anymore. She mentioned that she didn't want him to tell the kids that she left. She wanted him to tell them that she died so they can remember their kind mother instead of hating her for abandoning them. After he read the message, Adam was shocked. He didn't believe what Rita did. He thought about this situation once, but he never thought that she would leave like that after all those years together. Adam didn't know what he could say to his children. Should he tell them the truth, or should he tell them what Rita wanted them to know? It took Adam the whole week to think about this issue. At the end, Adam decided to tell the kids that their mother died in a car accident because he didn't want them to think that it was their fault. It wasn't easy for Adam to accept that they will not see Rita again, but that was the fact and they needed to deal with it at the time. Adam became more close to his kids after they lost their mother. Year after year, the kids were growing up and they were asking questions about their mother. If she's dead, where's her grave? Why'd their father never tell them exactly how she died? And above all, why was he avoiding mentioning her name or talking about her? Those questions became a big problem in Adam's relationship with his family, and he couldn't tell them the truth at this time after all these years. One day, Adam had a big fight with his son and daughter, who told him that they won't speak to him again until he tells them the truth about their mother. It wasn't easy for Adam to lose his family after he became an old man. He saw his life fall apart in his eyes. Everything he worked for or lived for was going away. His heart couldn't handle it, and he was transferred to the hospital after having a heart attack. When Sarah and Tom knew that their father was transferred to the hospital, and he'd been there at least two days, they ran to the hospital to check up on him, but they arrived too late. They found out that he had died in the hospital alone. The nurse told them that their father left them a black box. When they opened that box, they found something shocking. It was the message that Rita left to Adam years ago. They realized why their father was behaving like that. They knew that he was protecting their feelings. The kids regretted treating their father like that, regretted leaving him dying alone in that hospital. They felt that the man who devoted all his life for them doesn't deserve an end like this. For that reason, they decided to search for their mother, not because they missed her, but to tell her that she's a selfish woman who left her family and decided that she would no longer be responsible for her. After they found her, they told her that their father never said a bad word about her. He even refused to marry all those years. They felt their mother's regret as she was too old but they left her for her destiny in the life she chooses. Sarah and Tom lived their whole life remembering their father as the great man he was. They even taught their own kids the same principles their father taught them.